Yeah, it's been a crazy fast week. It is Sunday again, and it's time now for our Coffee with Conti episode right here on our Corvette vlog. How you guys doing? Thanks for joining us. And if you're a regular viewer on my Rick Corvette Conti YouTube channel, you're probably getting dizzy with all the vlogs that we're putting up. That's going to continue at least for the next week and a half every single day. Once in a while, a little chuckle little different piece of tidbit information, but definitely topics all on the current and future Corvette marketplace. Go to my videos tab on the YouTube channel and catch up in case you missed one. I don't want you to miss one. We spent a lot of time coming up with different approaches, different angles, different pieces of information because I love broadcasting and communicating to you guys. So thank you again for checking in. I appreciate you being here. Matter of fact, in a recent video, we went into great detail about requesting an allocation for a CA 2020 mid-engine Corvette and what to expect throughout the ordering process that's going to start faster than you think. Stay tuned to this channel. We'll keep you up to date. Also in that video, we had some fun. <laughs> yeah, talking about your idea of flying in a drone into the Tustin hangers. <laughs> and I said, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Just blame me, man. Think about it though, how big those things are. That thing flying ahead, they won't even hear it. They won't even see it. So yeah, I'm encouraging you once again. And then somebody made a comment on the channel that said, hey, Rick, you know what? You should have some swag sent out to us so we can represent you at the reveal inside the Tustin hangar. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's a great idea. I should have made up these Rick at the reveal shirts. <laughs> Now that, now that's too silly. Could you imagine the guys on stage? And ladies and gentlemen, we have for you the new... Okay. <laughs> and they're looking, they see this Rick at the reveal stuff. <laughs> Trust me, they've heard my name enough. Uh, we don't want to crash the reveal. I'm going to sit back and watch that with you guys. Again, one more reminder. Thursday night, the night of the reveal on 7-18-19, once you see the car, videotape yourself your friends, your group, your party, and text it to me right away. I want your reveal reactions of the new car, good or bad. I'm gonna take those all night long, edit a video, we'll put that up on Friday morning, and then you folks watching the audience will vote for the best reveal reaction and have an opportunity to win one of those two price packs I was talking about. on here now these are mine these are the kids but i think uh i think they work for the conversation right that's right we're having a battle today guys it is coupe versus convertible and either one they're a blast Now, before we get into the numbers and talk about production going all the way back to 2008, let me just give you my opinion on each of these cars and what type of client they appeal to. Corvette Convertible, I think you have, I think you have two types of customers. You get that one client that wants to order everything and intends to keep the car for a long time. So they don't want to miss out on anything. They feel that this is the most fun car, top down, they're going to keep it forever. And that's how they find enjoyment of the car. Now, the other convertible customer, in my opinion, is a client that is extremely busy and doesn't have a lot of seat time in the car. So when they are home, they're driving it in a minimal basis, but they want the maximum fun in the car. That's right. Put that top down and roll. Corvette convertible is really, truly an absolute blast. Now the Corvette Coupe, this one appeals to everyone. Top comes out, you've got the maximum cargo space, you have stackable cargo space, you have a little bit better visibility with the top on or off because of the rear quarter windows. Either car, again, these are great value stories and incredible cars to drive. <music> Thank you. 
Now when it comes to Corvette Coupe and Convertible, they're both incredible values and have a great ease of operation. Take the Corvette Convertible for example. We had showed you before how you could be the hero at the car show. Keep in mind C7 Corvettes all come standard with power convertible tops. But at the show, you can put that convertible top down without even having the car running. Hitting that unlock button two times, holding down the power button, and people will be absolutely mesmerized that you're doing that. The other great ease of operation is putting that convertible top down while you're moving, up to 30 miles an hour. Maybe it's a threat of rain or maybe you're at the traffic light and decide to put the top down now. The value story continues on Corvette Coupe as well as the ease of operation. All C7 Coupes from Stingray to ZR1 have a removable target top. Three latches on the inside take it out. Don't let that big top fool you. The painted tops are made out of carbon fiber. Very easy for one person to take that off and store it in the back. Now the best thing about both these models, coupe or convertible, is driving them. Now which one do you like the best? Coupe, convertible. <laughs> hey, let's look at some numbers. Remember back in C5 era, the difference between coupe and convertible was $10,000. It's now only $5,000. Let's go back to 2008. Convertible production was 21%. In 2009, it was just over 19%. Now in 2010, it was 27%, and that was because of the introduction of the Grand Sport model. Man, people went crazy for that car, and it actually killed. Oh my gosh, it killed Z06 sales. Boom, boom, <laughs> it really did, no doubt about it. 2011, you had 26% of the Corvettes produced were in the convertible model. And in 2012, you had 24%, just a little bit over that. 2013, here's when it went crazy. 60% of the cars produced were in Corvette convertible models, but keep in mind, that's because of the one year only introduction of the 427. All right, so now we're into the C7 generation, and my experience has been every time we see a new gen car come out, the convertible models, for some reason, are increased. 2014, you had 28% of those cars made were in convertible models, but here's where it started to drop off. 15 and 16 went down to 19%. And the slide continued just a little bit in 2017 with only 16% of the models made as a convertible. A little bit of a spike in 2018, even though it was a very short production year at 17% were Corvette convertibles. <laughs> now this vlog is gonna show how out of shape I am. Now 2019 Corvette production, we have data through April 1st. Corvette convertibles come in at 16%. Now, which one do you guys like the best, coupe or convertible? Leave those comments and why down below, right here on the YouTube channel. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for participating. And right now, while you're making those comments, here are some packed pictures that I've been gathering over the months and how you're using your Corvette coupe and Corvette convertible.
I hope you're enjoying this edition of Coffee with Conti. It is wonderful to have you here on the YouTube channel. Tomorrow, I've got another fun delivery with Mike from Florida, and we're gonna, we're gonna show you that vlog from different angles, from his phone, from a drone, from this camera. Hope you get an opportunity to join us, like I said, vlogs every day, going through this week, past the reveal, with all kinds of great information. Now, I told you guys in a teaser that I was gonna show a little extra love towards the Corvette convertible. I've got a couple of delivery clips that I've been hanging on to. Randy in Illinois and Jerry here in Ohio. These guys are 100% all about the Corvette convertible. So while Jerry's inside signing his paperwork, let's show off his car to you folks because that's what you want to see. And I don't blame you. Look at this thing. Sebring orange, black wheels. Finally, Jerry's talked about it for a long time. He's wanted a Z06 convertible. Jerry, there she is. Congratulations. And man, it really does. Look at that. Doesn't that look just really upscale with the yellow calipers? Speaking of upscale, look at this, guys. Kalahari interior. Jerry, you know how to order a car, man. That's right, seven speed. And we're getting ready to do another battle here. We're gonna do the coupe versus the convertible. We'll get Jerry's take, and you're gonna know what his obvious answer is, but his take on why he orders, because that's his trade right there, his 16 Z51 convertible, why he stays with Corvette convertibles. Now, Jerry will probably say goodbye to us on the channel. I really don't want to be on front of the camera, but he does watch the vlog, so thank you, Jerry. I appreciate that. And actually, uh, years ago, uh, he and I uh, hooked up, and you know, I consider him more of a friend than a customer, and I gave him one of my chicken recipes that he and his wife have cooked and just love so yeah that was another uh, another segment that i'm thinking about starting on the channel from time to time a little cooking with conti <laughs> but uh, it was just it was just neat to see his excitement to finally get his z06 convertibles we're going to give him at least a thank you and of course our traditional send-off pat here shortly okay so jerry just come out and i said hey i gotta put you on the spot real quick he goes oh come on rick don't do that but you were saying in the office because i'm getting ready to do a battle thing on my channel coupe versus convertible so i already know who you're going to vote for but what were you saying that like every corvette just is supposed a corvette to be should be a convertible should be a convertible and a stick shift and a stick shift yeah fantastic yeah yep. that's what you got there stick shift convertible yep. stick shift convertible yep. hey thanks for your friendship thanks for your continued business really appreciate it man it's been great yeah it's, it's a lot great I'm, I'm looking forward to the feedback that you're going to give me on this new car and uh, you're you're relatively close so i'll get a chance to see you for service visits oh, yeah. and stuff like that so that'll i'll be, be back good. and don't forget we're gonna give you a little send off pat too before you go okay you ain't getting we'll out here that. without that all right what do you think jerry getting excited yeah yeah it looks good you know what's funny it's good Remember, remember the 59 ride that you gave my son Ryan yeah. and myself? Yeah. He still talks about that. I mean, that's just a beautiful car, yeah. but he really talks about that. Well, he keeps saying, he goes, Dad, you need to get a car like that. <laughs> yeah, not too many of them around. <laughs> no, I know. I know. That was neat, though. It's uh, it's great creating those little memories for the early guys, too. Oh, man. yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. We're going to see good. you back here again here soon. Your wife's about ready to go. We're going to get in there and give you a little official send-off, Pat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Jerry. What a great-looking combo. Appreciate it, sir. You know what's funny is Randy and I have been talking almost a year about this car. He custom ordered it uh, and he was going back and forth, Grand Sport, not Z06. Also going back and forth, chrome wheels, black wheels, not sure. We'll talk to him more about that here in just a minute. Again, going way back to the early stages of my vlog channel. Randy and Diana were here. They actually were, you know, deciding between a couple of different cars. You know, we talked about that earlier, Grand Sport or Z06. They test, yeah, imagine that. Go to a Chevy dealership and test driving a car. Test drove a couple cars. Randy actually ordered the competition seats on my recommendation. So I thought that was pretty neat. See, they're loading that up. One convertible to another. You guys excited? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. to see you, man. Yeah, well, thank you, you very much. He watches the vlog. Diana watches the vlog. You guys have been great supporters. It's been awesome. It's been uh, 
it doesn't, I mean, it's been a long process, but now it doesn't seem so long, does it? No. I mean, now it's just like, boom. But I know you had some, you know, some hard decisions to make. Right. You know, am I going to buy a car out of stock? Am I going to custom order a car? Uh, and they're from Illinois, uh, flew in, stayed overnight, and it came down the street and just got an absolute perfect, oh, you guys got a great day, man. Yeah. It's funny. Diana says, hey, we drove with the top down as long as we could last night. <laughs> I think it was till like 10 o'clock or something. That's the only way to roll in a convertible. That's right. And I've yet to put it on the vlog yet. I've told you guys we're going to do the comparison between coupe and convertible and have that little battle. Uh, but these folks are die-hard convertible folks. Oh, and uh, we're in a new hat today. <laughs> Thanks to Randy. Look at this thing. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, I like that. Thank you, sir. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Really enjoyed working with you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, Corvette number five is gonna get an official send off. <laughs> yeah. Randy and Diana. <laughs> you want to reverse? <laughs> I see you guys. Take it easy, man. Be careful. watching everyone i hope you had a lot of fun today i hope you enjoyed the content i appreciate you being here and supporting the channel looking forward to seeing those comments down below which one do you like better coupe or convertible and guess what i'm going to see you tomorrow whether it's a coupe or convertible there's nothing nothing that compares to this